Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the beach is for the most part cloudy today and on the cool side as well. Take a look at uh, live pinpoint adopt the 12. First of all, the ozone alert that has been issued. Poor air quality for tomorrow uh, for select areas. It's essentially southern suburbs, South Shore, coastal Connecticut, Washington County, Newport County. High concentrations of ground level ozone. So respiratory sensitive people tomorrow. Just be mindful of this. It goes into effect at 11 o'clock in the morning through 11 o'clock tomorrow evening. High temps today with uh, limited sunshine and some clouds topping out in the uh, mid to upper 70s, closer to 80 tomorrow afternoon. Meanwhile, locally Doppler radar was quiet, had a few isolated showers. Most areas, though, not a drop of rain. But look at the big difference through upstate New York. A line of severe weather, strong showers and thunderstorms and downpours. Um, some severe thunderstorm warnings have been issued. Normally, we'd be a little concerned about this as it approaches. However, it's anticipated to weaken uh, this evening. So by the time it gets here later tonight, I do expect just kind of generic scattered showers and some thunderstorms not quite as strong. In the meantime, in Providence, clouds and some hazy sunshine right now. Temperatures in most locations are in the low 70s, including 72 now in Providence, 73 Smithfield, and low 70s along the South Shore. So outdoor activities next several hours, uh, really not seeing much in the way of of rain, but it's not until later tonight, midnight and beyond, the better chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms as this system uh, system in upstate New York approaches during the overnight into early tomorrow morning, the approach of a cold front. Getting real close, we'll take a look at your future cast for this evening and overnight, initially starting off dry, dry meaning no rain, but the humidity on the high side. Your sunset time at 824, looking at clouds and hazy sunshine next couple of hours. Once we get closer to 11 o'clock and midnight, the better chance of a scattered shower or thunderstorm as temperatures drop to the upper 60s tomorrow morning, especially early on, starting off with the clouds, a little patchy fog near the coastline, a few random showers, temperatures starting off in the mid to upper 60s, getting closer to 80 by tomorrow afternoon. Not a deep blue sky, but rather a cloud hazy sun mixture. It's not a washout. We could certainly use an all afternoon, kind of an all day rain, but rather these are just kind of hit and miss random showers and some thunderstorms developing uh, during the afternoon hours. Seven day future cash Thursday and Friday looking pretty good. The early call on the holiday weekend, not bad. I mean, for Saturday, warm and dry, just a slight chance of a passing shower, but essentially partly sunny temperatures topping out in the mid 80s. Sunday looks real nice, low humidity and plenty of sunshine in the early call on the 4th of July. <laughs> so far, so good. Well, hot, warm, but not hot. Low humidity with some sunshine temperatures topping out between roughly 80 and 85 degrees. So good news there. In the meantime, we'll watch for a few showers and thunderstorms late tonight into a portion of Wednesday. Not an all-day rain, but some quick interruptions, and the rest of the week is uh, looking pretty good and happy to say that the holiday, not bad. Yeah, liking that forecast. All right, thanks, Tony. And